Hey y'all, hey, I'm back again. i um, gonna do another glass video. I chose to do this one because I'm doing a lavender glass. Um, I've done one in the past, it was this color. I guess I don't have this color lavender anymore, but I like this one a lot better. This is the paint that I used and I actually really like it. I, Saw it somewhere, took a chance on it, and it's really pretty good. I didn't have any problems, clean spray, low smell. Um, it was pretty cool. So it adhered to the glass with no problem, just like our other paints do. So you may want to check them out. When I looked at them on um, Amazon, they had about 47, 48 colors. I prefer gloss, but they did have a lot of satin colors. So just, you know, be mindful if you do have a preference that you take a look. So this glass, these are the pearls that I have decided to use. They don't match as well as I would have liked, but because they're color reflective and they'll be surrounded by other um, gems, it's not so bad. Like it matches this one a lot better than it does that one, okay? Now, I had some other pearls. The thing with these are they're more plummy. I did hold them up to it, but I don't want that much contrast. And I, you know, the person said lavender, so I want to keep it at lavender. Now, I also have these gemstones. This is what I keep my gems in. And I had this color lavender. However, I don't know if you can see it here in this area. The sun is kind of bright. But when I put it up to the glass, it just didn't do what it was that I wanted it to do. I'll see if I can get a closer look. If you can get a closer look. So usually when I'm making a glass, because I got gemstones coming out of my ass cheeks. Ooh, I cursed, I'm sorry. But anyway, so this lavender just didn't do what I wanted it to do. And the best way that I usually go about determining which gems is in really good sunlight. I mean, I can use it, it's not horrible. I do have like a dark, not plum, but maybe a violet that would coordinate and add some contrast. But I kind of want to stay a little bit more monochromatic with this. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for around this outer edge down here, I've chosen these eight millimeter clear glass gemstones, and that's what we're gonna do. You all have seen me do it before, but we will do it together. I won't speed this part up, but a lot of the video I'll probably be speeding up, um, <laughs> just so I can watch, I can listen to music in the background, because my music may not make uh, clearance for copyright infringement. So that's one of my concerns. Uh, I'm gonna clean this glue nozzle, hold on. Okay, let's hope that works. Okay, let's, let's get it. I'm gonna try not to put my hand in the way so you can see everything that's going on. That's why I set you up on that side. And I have the most precarious camera. <laughs> set up ever <laughs> the camera's on a tripod on top of a box leaning over the table um haphazardly so yeah i got my own little thing going on but i want to come into the living room and work because it's really good sunlight today and um i don't have really good lighting in my apartment and they say the lighting is everything, and we'll take that out. I've made a mistake and mixed up some glass, some smaller six millimeters with these eight. So as I see them, I just pull them out, and I can use them at another time. 
Okay. This row doesn't usually take long. And around we go. One of my former co-workers ordered this glass for a friend. And so, you know, in the spirit of, she was one of my favorite co-workers when she was there. Um, I asked her if I could maybe do a little bit extra than what was ordered. And she said, well, go for it. I said, well, hey, say less. So, I mean, <laughs> it's only so crazy I can go on it, but um, I was glad that she's letting me kind of be free. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the occasion is for, but I do thank you. We appreciate any and all orders. Um, that's what keeps us going. So I don't know if many people know, but I initially created this channel, um, in order to do more resin projects. I love resin. I still do it. Um, but these videos have seemed to be catching. And I remember when I first started doing glasses, I was looking around a lot for videos and I didn't see a lot, you know, for what we do. Um, I would have to kind of piece together Tumblr videos or people glittering glasses and just find te techniques that I like and basically put a hodgepodge together and, um, you know, go from there. So maybe there's a niche where people have been wanting to do glasses like this and just haven't been able to find videos on it because um, we've been doing this now for about, we started in 2015, so, um, this is now 2023. So we've been doing this for quite some time. And when I did look for videos, it was still pretty much basically <laughs> the same ones out there um, in terms of this, you know. So maybe there was a market for it. I don't know. I'll never know. But I'm appreciative for the views and for the love I've been getting. Also... Let me take this time out. I would really like for you to subscribe to my channel. I really like it. I, I just, it's amazing now. I'm at like 178. I went from zero to 178 just on my own merit. I didn't really, you know, I told like my coworkers and stuff at work, but I didn't do a lot of like putting it on my Facebook or Instagram or anything. So um, it's kind of pretty organic and that, it means a lot. And people have been so nice you know, in the comments and uplifting because there was a time that I was going to stop doing this, but actually I met um, a person that liked my videos and, you know, he was like, yo, <laughs> there's a need for this, you know, and I was like, you just don't know you came along at the right time. Because I was really about to let this stuff go right here. So, you know, I just, I'm thankful. I try to respond to each and every comment. I do have a regular nine to five. So I don't, I may not be able to respond as timely as I would like. But I do respond. So, yeah, there's that. So thank you, you know. And we're coming close to the finish of the second row. And I don't know if people like watching this, but I know what I can do. I know how to run my mouth, okay? Now that's what I do know how to do. So, all right, let's see. It's hard for me to see in the camera's lens because, oh, okay, it's over here. Um, Because it's so sunny. The sun is shining on the screen, so when I kind of lean back, so. All right, so that's where we're at. Let me pause you and hold on. Note to self, do not mix up the six millimeter glass gems with the eight millimeters, okay? 
So going into row three now, and I'm gonna be quiet because I'm going to now start uh, speeding you up, okay? Okay, so just a real quick, um, I came to a spot that <laughs> was smaller than a six millimeter gemstone. So I went and grabbed a five millimeter glass to put into that space. So that, because the other alternative is spreading them around but sometimes it looks gappy. All right. So that's where we're at. Um, so that's the little baby gem that I stuck in there. So I'll probably make this the back of the glass because any defect or flaws or slings, uh, seams I have, I'll put this way. All right. BRB. Okay. So now we're going to do the underbelly of the glass. So I'm gonna do eight millimeter pearl and then five millimeter and then same thing going this way. Um, okay, let's get it. Okay, <clears throat> now we are at the accent part. And what I do is I go around, put a dot of glue and skip a space. So a dot here, dot here, dot here. And that's how I go around and accent. So that's what we're about to do. So with these gems, with the dots that I've created, I put it on and I stick it, I push it into the divot in between those two. Now this one is where I kind of ran out of, it wasn't even spacing, but here, if you can see, I push it into the, the divot in between the two gems, but that was an extra one. So we just fit one in as opposed to leaving a bigger gap. Well, I'm saying we like I'm plural. I, um, when I'm creating glasses, I'm all about contrast and spacing. I never want 
two colors to touch unless it's some kind of look I'm going for. So I always want it to be silver and then a color and then this. Um, I never want the purple gems to let's lay on the purple because it doesn't create any contrast or any excitement. So as you see, I'm silver, purple, silver, because then the next color is uh, lavender. So I'm really um, all about contrast and spacing. Um, you know, um, when I put the letters in, they chose a specific cursive letter, but I may print some so that it fills the space a little more and it's not really small. So that is my definite big thing about just contrast. Um, if I put a row of silver here, I want purple to be next because it kind of draws the eye in. If I put a row of silver rhinestone trim and then put a row of silver gems, it just looks like a big glob of silver as opposed to creating a contrast in between the two. So that's the way that I do it. Okay, so since Kiara told me I could go crazy on this glass, I am going to add um, some mirrors. I have small mirrors and I have bigger ones, okay? Um, I'm gonna use these because I'm running out of the smaller squares. And plus, I just think it has more of an impact, um, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and be careful with these because they are glass. I'm gonna fold one strip this way, okay? And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut in that divot that I created, okay? in half and this is all I need for right now and maybe the whole project I don't know right. let me set these aside so then I think you all have seen me put rhinestone trim on the glass so I'm going to go around and see how many squares I need and I just wrap it around and it seems to fit perfectly right here. So I bend and I cut, all right? So now we got, let's see if I can show the ends to you. So it fits pretty darn close, it's a little space there, I may go in and just put a couple gemstones in there, just depending. Um, so these are adhesive. It has a backing on the back. I'm gonna peel that off, but I'm also gonna put glue around there, okay? And remember where I said I want all of my seams to line up. I use the small, so this is where I use this small gem. So I'm gonna go up this way, so this will be the back of the glass. So when I put the name on it, everything will be centered around the front, okay? Put the glue on. That's about the thickness of the squares. And I don't put a lot of glue for this part only because there's an adhesive and they will work together. <laughs> Almost like a cement, they do not come off, okay? All right. I 
That's probably because it's gonna be holding something heavy. I usually blow on it to get it just a little tacky. Well, let me set it right there. Let me take a drink. I'm a little hoarse. I'm just getting over something or trying to get over. Um, okay, so this is the back. So this is where I'll start. And then when I finish the glass, I go back and, you know, shine it up and everything. So the glass is nice and shiny because I'm already getting fingerprints on it. Mm -mm. And whatever you do, don't let it fold over on itself because the squares will stick together. Let's be very careful because it's, it's just slightly perforated. You can actually even just tear them apart, okay? So here's my seam. Well, my back, line that up with that groove and curve it around the glass, okay? Pressing as I go to not only stretch it and to make sure it reaches the other end, okay? So I know it's gonna be fingerprinty. And then when you get to the coast, just make sure they're even, all right? And I'm just going to hold this for a little bit. And that's where we're at now. So like if this is silver mirror, I'm going to put lavender here and lavender here. And then a row of rhinestone trim above it. Um, I just don't like putting the same colors on top of each other. And so I've started integrating pearls because not only I like the... The, the, the textural contrast. So we kind of got like a rough surface, a smooth surface, and then a rough surface. And then, so it goes along with the color contrast as well. But that's just how my eye is. Um, so, all right. That's pretty much on there. I'm gonna stop you so that as I'm gemstoning the next sections, um, I can, uh, I won't run my mouth. I'm just going to stop it. And then, because this will be a full video, you will see everything from beginning to end. You may not get to see me put the base on because the my UV light cord is really short. And I don't know. I would have to like sit on the floor next to the outlet to do it. Um, or go in the kitchen and that my my craft space in there is a wreck. So anyway, I'm going to stop it here so that you can see me do the gemstone. And then when we come to the row of rhinestone trim, I will explain that as well. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're back. Gonna do the rhinestone trim. All right, so just lightly 
pull that around. This is an odd angle for me because I'm trying to do it. You see the cam or the camera can see what's going on. All right, so right at this divot is where, well, I would have had on my side. And don't talk about my manicure, I did my own nails. All right, so we cut here. And this trim is great because it's cuttable with scissors, all right? And I'm so excited about this glass because I don't usually get to do girly colors. Our design, and when I say our, I mean my business partner, Lynette and myself, our style is generally the same, but um, I'm not a girly girl, but I do enjoy doing different colors. We do so many black, red, blue glasses that Lord have mercy. I want somebody to challenge me on color, just or just let me be free. Um, so um, I'm just happy to be doing a color that um, no one has ordered in a while. So. All right, we're gonna put that on there. Here we go. All right, so I didn't wanna leave gaps, but you can see like this is where there's a gap in the mirror. I had gaps in the pearl, so I put clears there. So all of this lines up and will be the back of the glass. These will be the sides. I just, any imperfections need to be in the back or on the sides where nobody, the eye is not really gonna go. Um, I've seen a lot of people that do glasses, um, what they do, they, they don't pay attention to that. They'll put like, um, you know, the name right under it. And it's just like, but your eye is drawn, at least mine is. Maybe I got OCD problems. I don't know. I'm going to see like, why did they leave that there? The name is centered across there. They could have hidden that part. Okay. Because no glass comes without imperfections. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the glue on thick enough to encompass the rhinestone trim, put it on the same way. Uh, now this trim does not have adhesive, but this is the best way to kind of spread it out to make sure each gem is touched by glue. I don't wanna put just one line. I wanna make sure everything is kind of touched and hold it in uh, place, okay? This is where we're at. I'm just happy I got good sunlight today. And um, I haven't been outside in a few days, but it seems like it's a nice day. So I may venture out today. I'm feeling a little better. And just go maybe do some grocery shopping. I want some pineapples. I want some mangoes. So maybe I get out get some stuff and come on back in. All right, let's get it. So this side, can you see, is intact. This side is split. So I'm gonna start with this side here. Find my messed up back. And that's where I'm gonna start, okay? Now, luckily, I have some nails. I can hold my thumb there you know, keep it there and stretch it around the glass, okay? Um, these, so rhinestone trim comes in different sizes from I think two millimeter up to five millimeter. Um, this is four millimeter. So when you're buying trim, you can buy single roll, two roll, three roll, four roll, <laughs> Single row, two row, three row, four row, five row. And then it comes in sizes. So this is four millimeter, okay? This is comfortable for us, but I also have it as small as two millimeter. And when they're talking about the millimeters, they're talking about the size of, look at that, my. <laughs> My nail polish matches the, the glass. So anyway, they're talking about the size of the gems. So this is would be called four millimeter two row rhinestone trim. Okay. 
All right, so now let me pause because I got to figure out my next move. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do because a lot of these I just come up with. I mean, we have a base style in mind, but I kind of got to figure out <laughs> what I'm going to do next. All right. Okay, I'm back. I just took like a two hour break here to eat. And I don't know what else I did, but let's see here. So now we are going to add some, we'll do the side work, then we'll do the name, the base, and we'll be out of here. Okay. Let's leave the little pieces in. Oh, okay. At least I can compare. You can see the difference between the little pieces. Uh, so it looks like about four pieces to one big square almost. Okay. I just don't have a lot of these left. Okay. Let's put all this crap back up in there. Okay, so it's going to be a little shorter than what I would like. So I'm going to cut across here. And here. Okay. So won't reach all the way to the top, but that's okay. Let me cut that down as well, okay? All right, so let's find our clear, I don't wanna call it clear back, but this is the back right here, all right? Keep my finger there. And let me dig into my bag of tricks. All right, so if this is the back, I'm just gonna kinda, it's a chrome marker. Just gonna kind of eyeball it. So I'm not gonna take the line all the way to the top because, <laughs> yeah, so, cause the watch collars don't reach. So I'm gonna measure six inches, the area around here, circumference, I guess that's right, is 12 inches, okay? So I'm gonna go six inches from here To the other side, it should be right there. Bring my line down. I also just need a rough estimate, okay? Now, since I'm not going all the way to the top, I don't wanna mess up and put glue all the way to the top, <clears throat> excuse me, and knowing that this won't reach, so, I shall bring the glue to the strip, okay? Make sure you get the corners good, because if anything is gonna lift, it's gonna lift at the corner, all right? Let's do the other one while that gets tacky.
Then I will flank each strip with pearls, trim, and we'll be really close to done, okay? So, if I don't have any glue on my hand, let's see. Can you see? All right. So that's my marker. Try to go within the middle of that and press that in place, okay? Make sure it's straight. When you start with a fairly straight foundation, it's pretty easy to keep everything straight, okay? Same thing on this side. I think I'm in the middle and press. And my little greasy fingers. I leave that marks on the mirror. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't seem straight, but let's do a little work on that. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring pearls up on either side and I'll stop you and so that I can put you into 5X speed like I'm a fast worker. Be right back. Okay, so now I want to run a row of these on either side, okay? Hopefully you can see. So I put my nail in there. I'm going to take these to the top, okay? Because I'm going to run the gems on the other side all the way to the top, all right? So cut about there. And I need four of these, okay? One. Line them up. Hold it up. Two. Three. And four. Okay. So I have put glue on either side of this little decoration piece on the side. Okay. So I'm letting it get a little tacky and we'll put the um, rhinestone trim on together. Okay.
Okay, so I'm back. I went to go and attach the base. So the base is basically our calling card. So if a person is out, they can scan that code and be directed to our website. Now this mode that I use is actually a keychain mode, which is why that dot is there. However, I haven't snipped them out because sometimes we get free gifts, a keychain with this logo on it with our glasses. So they're double duty. All right, so now we're about to cut the trim out to fit around the bottom. So I'm gonna put it, oh, oh I'm sorry, this is one of those wonky bases, but whatever. Sits up straight. So you put it around, same way I would do around the glass and cut right there. Try not to cut it shorter. You can always cut it longer and trim it as needed. So now we put <laughs> we put glue around the edges and then apply the trim. I didn't get it on as straight as I would have liked to, but it's been a long day. Got a lot going on. Okay. Yeah, see, it's definitely not on there as straight as I would like, but this is the back of the glass. See that seam and the clear gems? So this is the back. So we'll make sure that this is where the back of the trim is too, in case I have to trim it up or whatever the case may be, okay? Then this glue seems to adhere to resin. Um, we haven't had any complaints of this part coming off or anything like that, okay? Um, I do want to do a trial run. I mean, I've seen people do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But put the base inside of a mold and then pour resin on top of it. And so that can eliminate the step of having to attach it. Just make it all at once, okay? Clear back, even the hole for the keychain. Everything is back this way. Get it on there, line it up, and stretch it around, okay? It's a perfect fit. These four millimeters are the same width as the base, so it's not room, too much room for error. Okay. And really, these are malleable. I probably could have trimmed one, but I didn't want any space. So you just fit it on in there. Make sure everything is even. I'm gonna let it sit like that for a minute. Um, let me set this aside. Let me reconfigure. Because now, all I have to do is put her name. So. Back when we started making glasses, we used to use letters from Michaels, okay? So the listing that she chose had these letters and I reached out to see if they, you know, really wanted these, but I think they wanted the name in cursive. And in lieu of time, and since this is what's in the listing and I have them, these are the letters I'm gonna use. And so the name will be here. But I got to pause you because I want to make sure I have the exact spelling of her name. And then we'll do that together. And then, oh, hallelujah, we'll be done. Be right back. All right. Let's put the letters on. The hard thing about this is... The biggest letter that we are going to add is the L. And centering it can be a problem. I'm sorry, I'm just thinking. Like, 
a I'm thinking if I just started right here, we should end up over there. Okay, now these letters do have adhesive on them, but, <clears throat> excuse me, we add glue to them just to make sure they stick. I think they are vinyl have a little glitter on them. I don't know what these letters are made from. They're prefab. Because um, even if I made the letters, they would just be vinyl, same kind of thing. All right. Let me find perfect placement for this. Make sure, okay, yeah, that's the front. Glue dries clear, so don't trip. Just wipe the glue on the legs, okay. Her name is Lawanda. I usually try to attach all the letters, make it look like one continuous word. to pick this up because <clears throat> I want to get the perfect slant. I think I'll raise it a little bit so it's more centered. Okay. Can we get a W? Flip. All right. I haven't done this in so long. Put these letters on. Fish. Okay. We don't have time for that now. There will be no lifting. Okay. Need a A, need a A, 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 A. Hope I'm not getting my big head in the way. Okay. In, in, in. Sorry, I'm so quiet. This is highly, I have to concentrate. Oh my God, I haven't done this in so long. Okay, love one. Woo, two more letters, Jesus. Two more letters, love. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh oh, my name almost wiped out. Well, it did wipe out all my A's.
Lord, I think I was holding my breath doing this. Okay, and the last A. A little bit too fast to do. Okay. The base lifted up slightly, the trim around the base. It's okay. All right. So this is for Miss Lawanda. Had a gem over here, gem over there. Just to give it a little a je ne sais quoi. And there you have it. So, before I let you go, a couple things. This glass, I do not share any vendor information on it for several reasons. Number one, I am in a business with another person, and that is something we have agreed upon. It is our best-selling glass, and we also know that they are hard to come by. I am very sharing and giving with everything that I do on this channel, but this is the one thing I absolutely will not share. I will always be kind and courteous because I know not everybody listens to a whole video whenever someone asks, but I will not now or in the very near future, discuss any info about where I purchased this glass. It is the backbone to our business. It is our money maker. And if Colonel Sanders did not share his 11 herbs and spices, I am not at liberty to share this. We did a lot of research and looking and turning over rocks and stones in order to find this glass. And I believe that the same time and diligence that we put into finding it, other people can too. Now there is something in the community of crafting and it is a wonderful help, but basically everything I've learned, I put bits and pieces together from everyone and I found a way to make things my own. So I hope you understand. Um, I have gotten at least one, well, one um, negative comment regarding this. And it was her thing and she wants to unsubscribe. But if I share 25 things and not one, how can that one piss you off? So that is my rant for today. However, I do hope that you enjoyed just this video. I really enjoyed doing it. I'm about to set up some pictures, take some good pictures of it, and um, hopefully I can get this out today. All right, everyone, have a good day. Please subscribe, like, and share <laughs> this video if you like. But please subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me, and I'm growing. All right, take care. Bye.